So the text gets moved around into place and then my bring in the thumbnails that I worked out for this page and then put the dialogue in the right place and then chop it up into panels. You can see I added the 3D set background in there. It's questionable whether I needed this here, but you can see how in my reference, I have a drawing of the character there. That's one of my drawings placed as a card in 3D space. So it's a good way to like keep track of how all the character is while I'm manipulating these, the camera in these 3D spaces. And then I go through here with this yellow to just try to rough out the body language of this page, figure out where the character's head should be, their various sizes. And Right now, I'm mostly thinking about perspective and body language. So I try to start drawing that panel and she looked, it looked fairly boring. So I felt like she needed to hop into this situation with a lot of flair. So I made her in a much flirtier sort of pose because she's gonna hoodwink these guards. So going over the Drawing and try to get a better sense of the shape of the various characters, penciling them in until they feel right. I don't worry about the details until the body language feels right. And then it's a matter of can I sell the expressions. I usually draw these things out a few, few ways over. That's the beauty of working digitally is having different layers. You can see how one it goes to blue. That means usually I'm putting it on as a trace layer. And then now here I'm refining that. I was rusty when I drew these pages, so there's a, a lot of careful underdrawing in this one. Even with that said, I still have some problems that I don't like on the drawings of these. What can you do? Wanted to hope, hopefully I could sell the expression of this panel here without it being too doofus. They're too goofy. That didn't make any sense. Let's see, perspective. I shift the characters as needed. I'm not always beholden to the perspective. I'll shift a character size if it seems like it needs it. Now I shift into inking here. This section looks gray because I wanted to have some midtones and white lines as well. I wasn't sure how I was gonna color this sequence and I'm very interested in getting away from all black outlines. So that's why I'm doing that on this first few panels here, but I quickly realized it was going to take too long and I need to get through these pages. I can't spend 40 hours on these pages. So here we go. You can see a 3D gun popped in there because I suck at drawing guns. So I pulled in a little reference so I could get it in there. Now we're just doing these clean lines. Again, this ink lines are just the non-searching lines, really. Just trying to get a nice, refined, exactly what the page needs to get the gesture or the line weight. Every now and then you'll see these little green, green um, tracings over the line. They go really quick in this video, so you can't very much see them very well. But when you do, that means that's a tool that allows the, me to thicken or thin the line weight. Line weight's very important in comics emphasizing and de-emphasizing things. I'm certainly not particularly good at it. Um, I have to zoom in fairly close a lot of times to draw, so then you zoom out and you realize all oh, your lines are too thin or congested. So, that's what that is. Oh, you can see the 3D gun that I'm tracing there for her. And now, almost done with the drawing here. There we get into the coloring. This isn't particularly exciting to watch, but all the flat colors and shading, and then some more tweaking of the word balloons, just to get everything just so. I really need the word balloons in there at the beginning, and I adjust them constantly throughout the thing to try to get the best possible balance between reading and the artwork. And then the final page is here and a little glow that was added coming out of the room. That purple glow was not in the original or in the time-lapse recording, but uh, is in the final page. Has to do with what's inside of that room that you'll see on the next page. Thanks for watching.